It has been over a month since I have talked in front of this camera, since you have seen our family doing anything here, relating here on our homestead and our small farm that we have built. And there's a reason why we decided to stop making YouTube videos. And I wanna explain that to you guys and I wanna leave you hanging. A lot of you guys have been asking us, are we okay? You've been sending your prayers out to us and we are very thankful for everyone that has done that. We appreciate you guys. But yeah, I didn't want to just leave you guys hanging. I didn't want to just be like, well, that's the last video that they're ever going to post. I wanted to make sure I made one so you guys understood. <laughs> Got to make sure the pigs get some water. It's been getting really hot, obviously, now that we're in mid-July. So it's very important that we keep making sure our animals are nice and hydrated. And that means these piggos. How we doing pigs? You guys need some water? First and foremost again, thank you to everyone who has sent their prayers out, has been just thinking about us during this time. It's hard to throw down just one really main thing that's been going on in our lives right now that has put us to this point where we're not wanting to make YouTube videos. And really, for it all, it sums it up that we had just a major overwhelming feeling going on in the family. We have had a lot just on our plates. That goes for us trying to put out these YouTube videos, working a job, taking care of four little ones, with also with summer going on, that's when more stuff's going on. I mean, during the time off, we had two of our kids' birthdays, so that involved a birthday party as well in there. We had a vacation we got to go on to to Wisconsin, which was actually a little bit of a nice kind of just break, but also that we drove, had to do the travel, so it was about four or five days. So we've just had a lot going on and a lot of stuff that was just putting us into a state of, is this something that we truly enjoy? And we wanted this to sit back in our lives and just kind of reset everything that we could. And with YouTube being something that we can take a break from, I figured it was best for us to step back and just make sure that is this something that is going to put true value into our life and is it something that we are stronger because or is it something that's hurting us? Because here in our family, we're going to decide to make sure that we always put God first in anything that we do. And if it won't honor Him, if it's not something that praises Him or raises value to him if it's not something that we can show our faith off in and spread to others during the time then it's not something that we need to have so that is something that we had to think about also we just had to make sure that like you know youtube is fun and it's something that we enjoy doing when things are going good for it but when there is just so much going on and so much busyness and stuff that we have to do homesteading wise have to do inside the house have to do outside the house it's hard to keep up. It's really hard to manage doing the videos and keeping them coming. And it, it just starts to not be fun to come out here with a camera and film something that we're doing because I just wanted to do it. The last video that was going to be being made at one point during this process was processing our chickens. And it was something that we had a little bit of hardships, which I'll explain um, later on. It was something that I just wanted to do. I wanted to be able to just come out here with Chelsea, process the chickens and have it done and not have to worry about filming a camera, finding what angle to do a certain thing, what shots do we need, what do we need to talk about and say. And every once in a while, I mean, it really takes the fun and some of the enjoyment out of homesteading is bringing this camera along with. Because as much as we enjoy doing this, this isn't one of the important jobs in my life. There is two jobs that are the most important jobs in my life. That is being a husband to Chelsea, and that is being a father to our four children, Melina, Delilah, Theo, and Nora. And those two jobs should come first every single time. And we wanted to make sure that if we are doing this homesteading and having a small farm, we have a garden, we have chickens, we have the pigs, that we want to make sure that this is a family enjoyment that we're doing and not a stress and not something that we need to find a way to film a video about and something that the whole family can be a part of and join in and and that's just not how it was going a lot of times it was a lot of times me selfishly coming out here sometimes to be honest and trying to film a video and get it done and put a video out and edit it and 
it made it start to lose value and that lost value in me having the enjoyment of filming the videos and also the enjoyment of just doing homesteading activities out here. And it's not something that I'm uh, proud about sometimes. Um, not something I'm proud about at all. <laughs> and it's something that I want to make sure that if the direction of us is going and wanting to do more YouTube videos here, and which we do believe it still is, we want to make sure that we can still do this, is that it's gonna have a little bit of a different direction. It's gonna make sure that the whole family is gonna be involved more. We wanna make sure that whether it's me picking up the camera, Chelsea picking up the camera, that we are filming whatever we want and just enjoying coming out here, not having such big restrictions about trying to make these really good angles or stories or just filming what we're doing and coming out and having fun doing it. And if we can't do that as a family, then it's something that we cannot keep continuing to do. And that's not what we hope for, but we do know that this is something that we do want to take serious here in our lives because we want to make sure that like our family is the most important thing in this life other than God, is that our family is what we want to make sure that our direction is that. I mean, that's what it should be, that any kind of outside stuff, work, friends, even family members and stuff like that, they all come secondary to here our initial family as this is the core, this is the strength, this is why we came out here to do all this stuff, was to build really strong foundations in our family roots. There was a lot of just not enjoyment going on. Um, and sometimes we can still feel it right now. We're trying to get back on that horse. We're trying to keep it moving and keep it going on. And if we are going to do it, we're going to have to continue on this journey of trying to make sure that we have true enjoyment and not just coming out to do it because it's something like a checklist, like, hey, gotta get it done. Coming out and having fun doing this. The chicks that hatched out probably about three, four months ago, they are now getting very big and they enjoy jumping to the top of the hoop coop for some reason. Uh, and they just kind of look over everything. They just are the little protectors, I guess you could say. They hang out over there, they do their thing, and it's been kind of funny, but. We have had to try to make sure they don't sleep at night because we do have some predator problems going on, which I'm gonna save for a later video to kind of explain more in detail. So gotta make sure that they're not doing that at nighttime. A little hidden thing right here, but I'm not gonna explain much more about that. That would be another video as well for you guys. That is something that was a surprise that we wanted to kind of show you guys and never got to just yet. So now you guys get the full surprise because of how big they've gotten. Garden season is here and it is going strong right now, which we'll love to give you guys an update here what's been going on with our garden and stuff that we need to actually still get harvest. And it's been ready to harvest, so we're excited to be able to do it. For anyone who told us this tomato idea was bad for this A trellis thing that we made, you were right. There is a lot that we will have to catch you guys up on that's been going on here on our small farm. A lot of stuff that you guys missed during our month off and a lot of stuff that's happening actively right now that's going on. Things that unfortunately a little bit out of our control and we're trying to get controlled right now. There is just so much that we need to catch up on and I'm hopefully excited to be able to do that with you guys. So have a great day and a better tomorrow and we'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless.